She wrote to me, In the desert, rocks do some kind of breathing, almost like speech. They resonate internally. She wrote, I keep imagining a silence stretching backward from a moment of spontaneous collapse. She wrote, think of it this way, a group of wind, a community thought. The motion of distant creatures underwater. She wrote to me, I spent some time imagining my body covered in oil. a drop and swiped it across my lip. She wrote, I watched a video tour of a national park. It said, for not understanding the word melt, we have the literary sense, as the trace has the appearance of melted. Crude history, a harsh noise. She wrote, a stone, white vibration. She wrote to me, I want to show you this community dance. She sent a video, one hand ringing five absent bells. I responded, I too would like to transition to a mostly reading life. Like the distant happiness of a stone sinking over many lifetimes to the center of the earth. She wrote to me, unfortunately living is mostly writing. She wrote, before leaving Mexico City, I watched a film whose narrator said, Japanese poetry never modifies. There's a way of saying, boat, rock, She wrote to me, I'm tired of projecting certainty. I would like not to write anymore. Later, she wrote, Some people believe that every desert on Earth was a jungle destroyed. And some people believe that every jungle on Earth was a jungle cultivated. Could I have described the landscape without the pipeline? Like a photograph. She wrote to me, How I'd like to read until I sink and harden into a jet. Written on my face, the slow randomization of an unending process. She wrote to me, the company, the company, the language here works like a faucet. I walk to the sink and run my nails under the hottest setting, burning gas. She wrote, in Albuquerque the snow fell so thick we couldn't see, it reminded me of a painting done in oils. She wrote, all smell, no color. Just now I felt a tendon jump completely out of place and then click back. It will remember that momentary position and may one day, under stress, escape to it. It's made of stone, that voice. It wanders up and down its interval. She wrote to me, coming back from the desert just now, I thought of the literary sense of melt, a natural gas pipeline pressurized beneath the national park. 
she wrote, scenic, s, s, the hidden sea beneath the sound. The person I was traveling with suggested I describe breathing, using unexpected words to form new connections. I chose the word breathing. 